What's good, my people? It's about me, Slicks, and we're definitely back again for another reaction on this here. BRBP TV, be real, be positive. Television brothers and sisters, welcome to each and every one of you guys who've tuned into yet another reaction video, guys. And of course, this is going to be an interesting one. So let us get into it right now, brothers and sisters. As you can clearly see, guys, this is, of course, a satellite image of Brett. You know what Brett is? Brett is the tropical storm that apparently was turned into a, was supposed to be a hurricane, but apparently, um, uh, became or, or stayed uh, a tropical storm brothers and sisters and this is the trajectory of it right there as you can see it apparently made a, a, a turn brothers and sisters it was supposed to come up this way being like passing over matnik that's the projectory path projectory projected path brothers and sisters <laughs> it was supposed to come up this way but apparently it took a sharp turn and decided to go down to ross brothers and sisters ross in barbados so I know they stated to us that Ross left Dominica because of hurricane. Well, apparently, local tropical storm is heading down there. I know one of Barbados' issues is that of flooding. But there's something rather interesting I want to show you guys right there. You see down there? This is much more lighter than up there. And I want you guys to point and watch this very clearly right there. So it's going to be passing over Barbados um, in, a, in a few hours, if not minutes from now. As you can see, the projected path goes down. It went to the southwestern direction. Now, guys, what you're seeing right there is that of the rainfall. Now, the reason why I'm saying about rainfall, guys, because it seems like most of the rainfall is going to be on top there. You can clearly see that at the bottom there is not much. Although this is the midpoint right there, the eye of the, the tropical storm. But apparently, most of the thing seems to be at the northern part of it. So I will show you guys the wind gust in a while. This is the wind gust right there, the wind gust um, situation. And there's a particular part I want you guys to see. This is the most dangerous part, so to speak, of the uh, tropical storm. A lot of wind, a lot of rain is going to be on top there based on what we've seen in this thing. And as of 2 o'clock, it will be over Barbados. And of course, start Dominica will start feeling this. In a moment it doesn't seem like barbados is gonna be getting much even though the eye is passing over it but maybe there will be some wind gusts down there as well we'll check that out in a moment so as you can see clearly brothers and sisters martinique not saint lucia martinique dominica and guadeloupe is pretty much going to be getting the blunt of this thing right there even though it seems to be passing over barbados yes guys the red mark that you see in right there so gonna be moving over so around 2 a.m the storm will pass over 2 a.m friday june 23rd as you can see right there that's where you know the, the the storm will be leaving dominica and the caribbean region right there with the caribbean islands and then it'll be going off into the caribbean sea but of course most of the stuff seems to be going at the north of dominica and i'm gonna clearly show you guys what i mean by this okay brothers and sisters we actually have this kind of thing taking place this is in barbados right this is barbados right there brothers and sisters and of course there seems to have some seems to have been some serious wind gusts in barbados thus far this is another indication right there in barbados uh one of the the um poles the electrical poles took a bend you know guys it palance <laughs> you know it palanced brothers and sisters anyways heading down to saint lucia as you can you remember I told you guys not much of a, a situation was happening. Of course, this was a bit earlier on. Things could have changed. But this is in St. Lucia. Waves are there, brothers and sisters. Waves are definitely there. And of course, as you can clearly see, the seas are rough. The seas are definitely rough. There seems to be like a light shower in the midst of this. Maybe it's just the, the um, camera quality maybe that's it but the waves are definitely there brothers and sisters this is another indication of St. Lucia as well so the waves are definitely there the wind as you can see the trees are seriously blowing so that is what is actually happening in St. Lucia a bit earlier on
Now, brothers and sisters, we are heading to Dominica. Now, before we get into Dominica, I must bring forth this kind of update to you guys. Rosso Dominica, as of a result of these people, update Tropical Storm Bird, Office of Disaster Management in the nature of the Caribbean, brothers and sisters. Okay, the government of Dominica is continuing to monitor the progress of Tropical Storm Bird, Brett, which is projected to approach the Lesser Antilles on Thursday. It has already approached on its current track. The system is expected to pass approximately 85 miles south. I've also heard it's going to be passing 95. Of course, it's a big storm right there. So pretty much you can just give any number. <laughs> but 85, 95 miles south of Dominica overnight uh, on Thursday into Friday uh, at about 2 p.m. Of course, there's storm force winds that is expected. But there's going to be some serious rainfall and increasing showers and thunderstorm activities expected Thursday afternoon. And a further deterioration in conditions is projected overnight, like I said before just a while ago, up until around 2 a.m. in the morning on Friday. And of course, that is going to be what is taking place from now to Friday. Of course, rainfall projections are for 100 to 200 millimeters, 4 to 8 inches of greater or greater in higher elevation mountainous areas, which of course will be soaking up most of the water right there. Further deterioration in the sea conditions east on the eastern side on Thursday with waves peaking 4 to 12 meters, 4, 4 meters or 12 feet right there. Based on a projected government, blah, 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 has taken the decision, tropical warning. They have also sent out this notice right there, brothers and sisters. Let me make sure that you guys know what it is. The government of Dominica has pretty much taken these steps. A decision, all schools will be closed on Thursday, June 2023, 22, 2023. The online CXC, blah, 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 digital literacy exams scheduled for 9.30 to 10.15 at the Cape Caribbean um, Studies exam scheduled for 9 to 10.30 at the Postman Secondary School will definitely be what? Oh, will proceed. Okay, so I'm guessing this actually happened right there. The business day slash work day on Thursday, June 2023. Um, will be suspended at 12 noon. So I, I know some individuals actually left home, uh, left to go work, um, left to go work, um, left to go home, <laughs> left to go work. They left to go home, brothers and sisters, at around 12. So of course, as a result of tropical storm Brent. But of course, we have the actual conditions. The weather is partly cloudy for sure, mm -hmm. and all local children and um, the children motor, oh. stay inside. Okay, stay inside too. Because falling rocks and mm -hmm. landslides, yeah, for sure. For sure, brothers and sisters. One of the things that in Dominica, we also know when they rain, when it rains, there's a huge possibility that there will be falling rocks. So please stay inside when it rains, brothers and sisters. And of course, this is the condition. Remember, I showed you guys this. Remember, I showed you guys where this thing is mainly taking place. You see, Dominica is in the red zone. Um, this is going to be a bit later on, but of course, it was already affecting Dominica. Let me show you guys right there. It was already, you see, some little stuff. It was already affecting Dominica right there. Dominica is fully, no. <laughs> yes, Lord. All right. So you see this thing right there, guys? Well, this is the conditions of Dominica. So remember, I showed you guys Barbados and, and St. Lucia. Didn't really have much of a crazy stuff. Well, Dominica... <laughs> Dominica all the way in full, brothers and sisters. I did say on my WhatsApp. Some of all you just think I don't know what I say. And I did say on my WhatsApp, Dominica gonna be going to be on the flood. Well, this is Dominica for you. Yes, man. Yes, man. Rain, rain, go away. Little Johnny want to play. Yeah. I think this is in the game of region. Um, I think that was video of Emo. Yes, this is it right here, brothers and sisters. This is Emma News, and this is just to show you that the rain has started here in Kebush. Please, everyone, head inside, <laughs> stay safe, and stay all the safe. best as we breast this summer. Falling rocks, remember. You see? So you see what I told you? Even though the eye pretty much is passing over Barbados, just, just, just north of Barbados, Dominica, Guadeloupe, Martinique seems to be getting the blunt of it. Because most of the stuff seems to be at the northern part of the eye. So that's that's an interesting one right there. Yes, let's talk. This is also M on you. Uh, in preparation for the for the tropical storm, I've, I've, I've cleared my drains, I've, I've done the necessary... Um, 
prep in terms of getting extra water supplies, my batteries are in my touch lights, and I'm pretty much uh, ready. getting ready in terms of making sure all my, my, my go kit, as the ODM recommended, is in order in the event that we have. Okay, this is pretty much all I got right there, guys, but he's getting ready, ready. Hopefully, you guys are ready as well. If you're not ready, brothers and sisters, you're not ready, that means you're not prepared. Be prepared, brothers and sisters. Well, the place is closed down right now. It's almost 5 o'clock. So, the place is closed down, brothers, brothers and sisters. So, you know, if you're not prepared, well, go by your auntie and see if she can get some bakes and things for you, man. Go inside. Family time. Get together. Reunion time. If you haven't seen your family in a while, <laughs> you know your house not safe. Your nene house safe. Go by your nene, man. Of course. Brothers and sisters, talking about that right there, I saw something I have to share. Let me see if I can get it for you guys. Okay, I think I got it right there, guys. And this is it right there. The emergency contact, which I definitely have to show you guys. So just in case, you know, something, something is happening and you don't take heed. Like last time after Hurricane Maria, before Hurricane Maria. Brothers and sisters, emergency numbers for the nature of the Caribbean. Dominica Fire and Ambulance Services right there. Headquarters in Roseau. These are the numbers that you must see. Grand Bay Fire Station. If your house on fire, you know... I don't know if you can be on fire during a hurricane because you're going to blow the wind will blow out your <laughs> but you get the point brothers and sisters Kenfield fire station as well st joseph fire station Portsmouth fire station Manville fire station right there so um, cassie bruce as well so we we covering all all locations around the nature island caribbean la plane as well definitely get your stuff in brothers and sisters definitely get these numbers in don't just say oh mr licks have it take it down on your phone man don't ask me for it, you know. I say, take it down on your phone. 767. First, if you have an international number, put 767 before these numbers. Okay? I'm showing you guys so you can definitely put it in your phones. Do you just say, oh, Mr. Lex, oh, you watching on the on your phone? Okay, well, if you're watching on your phone, take it down, man. <laughs> Anyways, brothers and sisters, this is a, an update that was given. Good afternoon. At 2 p.m., the National Hurricane Center issued an update on Tropical Storm Brett. This new update indicated that the center of Tropical Storm Brett was located near latitude 13.4 degrees north and longitude 58.9 degrees west, or about 215 miles southeast of Dominica. Brett is now moving towards the west near 14 miles per hour and is expected to continue. Also, it slowed down. It was apparently moving yesterday about 20 miles per hour from my understanding and then i was told today it's moving at 15 now it's going at 14. so it seems like it's slowing down continue on this not in speed conditions though brothers and sisters but in the, the movement across the caribbean island this path for the next several days until it enters the caribbean sea where it is expected to die out hmm. maximum sustained winds is near 65 miles per hour with higher gusts no significant change in strength is expected today Tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 115 miles north of the center. North the system is expected to pass 95 miles south of, south of Dominica overnight Thursday. The earliest possible arrival of tropical storm force winds is now at 4 p.m. today. An increase in showers and thunderstorm activity from Thursday afternoon can be expected. A further deterioration in conditions is expected overnight with moderate to heavy showers and thunderstorms which could result in widespread flash flooding mm. into Friday. Well, you know we have we have problem with flooding in the nature isle. We are rivers that hidden, remember that. All right then. The expectation is for there to be of an accumulation of about 100 to 150 millimeters or 4 to 6 inches of rainfall or greater in higher elevations. A continued deterioration in sea conditions is expected on the east coast today, with waves peaking near 4 to 12 feet, 4, feet, 4 meters or 12 feet. No, guys, keep in mind the east side of Dominica, you're talking about Cassibus area, you know, the, 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 the backside Marigot area of Dominica, the back, the east side, brothers and sisters, of course. This is where the, the tropical storm is coming. So obviously, the west side of Dominica will not get the blunt, so to speak, since the mountains might protect the other side. It will get something, brothers and sisters. Don't be fooled. <laughs> it will get something. But the east coast of Dominica, which is pretty much a shielding part of Dominica, is going to be getting some, 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 some beating, brothers and sisters. Remember, I showed you guys this thing right there. This is not a mockery. All right? You see, Dominica even brighter than, than some of the other places right there but it's interesting that i saw dominica red 
before all the other ones were read. Well, it looks like, yeah, well, you guys get the point right there. All right, then. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys have your solar devices. If you don't have your solar devices, well, hopefully you have your battery. If you don't have your battery, well, hope your candle can burn all night long. I know some of all you waiting to burn some candles, man. But burn the candles still, man. Not, not, but nobody's stopping you. Burn the candles, man. Keep the candle burning. There was this kind of things that we used to have back in the day. Them lantern. Them kerosene lamp. Well, you remember these things there? I remember them. We, them thing used to burn until the glass turned black. <laughs> Candle burning, you know, but glass turned black, father. <laughs> I'll never forget these things, man. When hurricane used to pass when I was a little youth. But brothers and sisters, hopefully you guys listened to my previous re uh, reaction videos. And you didn't say, oh, well, Mr. X, don't worry about that. No, can stop. People were telling me this, you know, to the guys. They say nothing can happen, man. They were saying the same thing for Maria. Not true. Okay. All right, then. Anyways, brothers and sisters, these things are unpredictable. This thing might just become a hurricane just like that. And you never know. Hey, I'm not saying for it too, but you never know, brothers and sisters. Be prepared and make sure you're safe. Those people that was done grand day walking in, in, in Hurricane Maria category 5 outside all your house because all your house fall down. Make sure all you find a place that is suitable for you to go and rest your bones. So the wind will not hold you and throw you in the water that you're walking with, brothers and sisters. Flooding on the road, I know. People was telling me the stories, I know. So hopefully you guys listen. Anyways, guys, with all that said already, I'm not going to stay, be staying long. I'm actually I'm going to be doing the music festival in St. Kitts. So hopefully I'll be dropping these videos right there. I might be dropping some more reactions on this one. Or I might just do, uh, you know, different things. Look out, man. Look out for the different vibrations. But definitely, guys, um, right now in St. Kitts, it's windy. It's a bit cloudy. Um, it's not anything crazy right there. If you don't know where St. Kitts is, guys, St. Kitts is up there. I send kids, send kids and leave it out there. All right, all right then. Antigua, so we're not really feeling much. Just uh, cloudy conditions, but let me see if I can get the other thing. Yes, guys. So nothing really crazy is gonna be hitting us. Go ahead, look. It's gonna get a little something. This, these are the blue marks right there. The, the islands that will be affected. We are on top there. So not much is really affecting us. It's cloudy. A uh, little, little like it's gonna be a few scattered showers, and that's it. So, yes, guys, it's windy and cloudy and maybe a few scattered showers. That's always gonna, all, all we're going to be getting. But with that said, guys, make sure all you see. People in Martinique, I know all you just flood too. Guadeloupe, all you just flood too. St. Lucia, I don't know if St. Lucia does flood, but behave all yourself. <laughs> make sure all you safe. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, all you just had a volcano the other day there. Take it easy on the, on the road for me, please. My readers, I see things falling down in all your place. What are what, what, what you doing there, huh? You know you, what 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 you're doing there, huh? Or maybe it's the, maybe that person in there yeah, and the tree fall down. What? Yeah. Anyways, guys, take it easy for me, please. Make sure you safe. Before you safe, make sure you leave all your thing in the bot in the comment box below as well. Guys, send prayers to all the Caribbean islands that will be affected as a result of these tropical storm conditions. And it's tropical storm, yes. But remember, tropical storm caused serious flooding in Dominica and Quivi set of things in um in that place in the south. And of course, you saw what happened in the um, Jimit area. Okay, tropical storm. Do not underestimate them, brothers and sisters. And of course, like I said before, serious rainfall gonna be happening to the nature. Dominica can become one. River. Well, I was going to say Dominica become one river, but let's not say that. But Nick, what loop? Take it easy for me, please. And with all I said right there, guys, give this video a thumbs up if you understand it. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you can get all the videos. Not some, but all the videos as they tend to come through right there and then guys yeah today i should have done a vlog man we, we were having a good time today but anyways guys if all i said right here i'll see you guys in the next reaction video remember guys be real be positive